welcome. This message is brought to you by nature, something that we need to all get out more in. So let's be outside. Please and thank you for allowing me to bring this message to our collective. What is it, spirit, that you would like to discuss with our collective today? Welcome to the farm. You will hear my animals running around. And here is what we're going to talk about today. We have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Coins, and the Page of Cups. So when I start a collective reading, this will be the topic that they generally would like to discuss with us. I'm going to set this over to the side. And I'm going to give a little draw here for our kachina knife. And we will begin this collective message. Please, Spirit, for best and highest good, what is it that we need to know? on this beautiful day. You have the strength card first. Okay, my deck up so do. And we have the Empress second. And we have the King of Pentacles. All right, a little more information here for our present. And a little more here for where we're going. <laughs> where we're going. Where we're going. So let's take a little look at this. Okay, collective, we're going to talk about connections. And we're going to talk about the kind of connections that people tell you you're crazy if you do these things. <laughs> And I say that because she's putting her hand in the lion's mouth, right? She has her hand here in the lion's mouth, and she trusts this lion. And we're going to talk about trust. We're going to talk about building that. Mm -hmm. Moving from a place where we feel like we are closed off from our intuitive connection to the divine. And we're going to learn how to stand on a beach and talk to a fish in a cup and not care if we're crazy or not. New beginnings. Right? New beginnings. And I say that we're going to talk about these connections because we have so many cups that are on the table. And plus, you know, the flavor of this altogether was the Ace of Cups coming from, you know, the first cards that came out. Ace of Cups to the Page of Cups coming from this position and moving into this one, this new journey for many of us as we begin our spiritual awakenings. And I'm seeing here, this is our present energy. So this stepping into the divine trust of your connections is a little bit of, you know, what is in the now and what we have been working on. Moving towards but this present energy of where we are in the flux of the now when you receive this message is moving from the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Cups. And this is when we're talking about connections, and we are because these are both cups, we have the Empress in between these two. That's my dog story. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> She's right at my feet, sorry. Real farm. Real noises. But here we are. We're moving from the seven to the eight of cups. And if we're talking about our spiritual and intuitive connections, this is kind of telling me that, you know, there's been things that have been tried in the past, right? You thought that um, you were going in the right direction or that you had found the thing that was going to work. This could be, you know, anything from religion to just different spiritual ideologies. Maybe you have done a lot of research trying to decide and discern about spiritual connection. 
what that means, what that looks like when things like religion don't work for you or haven't worked for you, right? Because here you are, you've, um, you've looked at all of these cups and you're not finding what it is you're looking for. So you're ready to all right, move away. You're just going like, look, there's nothing here for me. I'm walking away. I'm going to go try to do this by myself, right? And this is a good thing. This is the Empress energy that you're sitting in to do these things. This is the maturity of creation. This is mastering all four queens. And the energy of the queen is to design. If you look at the energy of the pages as they move from the page to the king, you have stages that we move through. This is like the beginning of an idea. The page is the beginning of having an idea that you have decided you want to move towards. And the night is then, having made that decision, you're ready to take the action. The queen is you designing the plan of what that action needs to look like. She is the coordinator. And the king, the king is the one that make it happen, right? She gives him the plan. And he puts it into play. But this, this is the energy of having really looked at all the four plans that the queen can have. She's the one that actually is the orchestrator, right? She would be the conductor and the queens are the ones playing in the symphony. You know, you can almost relate the suits to like the different, you know, wind and drum and that sort of thing within an orchestra itself. But she's the conductor, right? She's mastered all of those things, made that final decision of what is going to be created and bringing that into fruition. And fruition is what you have here when we move towards our future energy. As we move towards it in a big way, in a big destined way, to have this connection be stable, to discover it and know it well, to be able to use this connection to implement the plans that we've made. Because these plans that we have made <laughs> have mastered all four kings. So we have the empress and the emperor on the table. So I want to talk about another dimension of this message, right? Because if we are talking about connections, connections aren't just to our higher selves, not just to our higher selves, but they can also be connections to, you know, people, of course. <laughs> connections within our lives to other individuals. And since we have this as a pair here, I can also say that this could be talking about the beginnings of learning how to love again. And that loving again of opening yourself to the possibilities of new beginnings You know, it starts with you. It starts with, with this connection within yourself. But you have to have this for yourself. You can't do this. <laughs> you can't have this new beginning if, if this is how you are living, right? In a closed off way. If you're guarded, if you have these chakras closed. I mean, look at his little feet down here, right? He's got these protective plates over his heart, over his head. They're disconnecting him from his connection to the earth and nature. Completely closed off. So we can't get from A to B without getting through this hump in the middle. But the thing about it is, is that I think this is the hump, right? I think you have realized these things. This is telling me that there has been enough development, enough movement forward that the ability to realize 
that maybe the things that you had thought in the past were going to bring you the things that you wanted in a connection. Well, that's not it. Maybe you're learning about a new way to love a much more obviously <laughs> mastered and grown up way of loving. And that brings this solid foundation of being grounded, right? We're moving from, wow, this is a huge difference. You know, this is night and day. Moving from this to this, totally different path, totally different way of being in your life from completely disconnected to completely grounded and connected. You know, that these things are the potential that we can reach in our relationships. So the message is truly asking for you to, for us to work on our ability to trust, trust ourselves, trust our connection to, you know, know what is good for us. And to find the thing that is, you know, worthy of the work that, that we've done and have these new beginnings. This is reshaping, reshaping our connections, reshaping the way that we experience a relationship. We need to move more into this, this balanced, harmonious trust of doing the things that you thought were impossible in the past, of having connections that you thought were impossible in, in the past, both to your spirituality, to your higher self, to the creator of all creation, with other individuals. So tell us more, please, then, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to bring this beautiful message of our recreating how we experience our world moving towards one that is experienced with love. What more than advice, please, Spirit, as we move forward? What is it that you would like to bring to our attention? What is it? I have the tower, the chariot, the Magician and the Two of Coins. Right? Choices. Trying to um, balance. Again, these two cards are very much the same meaning in the sense of you know, needing to strike a delicate balance to make things work and move forward. But this is about, you know, choosing these both. Also, I would like to note, have the infinity sign. Get it close here. Have the infinity sign in both cards. And we have the Wheel of Fortune to go with that. Meaning, things about destined choices. And this is what, <laughs> and this is some powerful mojo, powerful mojo for making those things go forward. But I think that it also discusses the elements of, you know, how things will fall with this tower card, you know, like um, how the cards are going to fall is what I'm hearing will be a choice that we as individuals have to make, that we have to choose to, um, you know, you have to choose. You have to choose to stick your hand in the lion's mouth to see if you have created enough bond of a trust with it that you don't have to be um, concerned that it's going to bite you. This is a reciprocal relationship that works for both parties. She cares for him. Right? She's caring for this lion. 
she's helping this lion. Maybe he has a bad tooth. <laughs> Maybe. Right? Maybe she's giving him some healing, some food, some care, some love, some attention. And in turn, this protects her. And it is this reciprocating, balanced, beautiful infinity of trust. It's built on trust. And that takes solid foundations. But when our pasts haven't provided us with the things that have created what we feel like are solid foundations and, and solid connections, that we haven't had those examples, perhaps, then those are the things that we have to go out and we have to learn and we have to take down. We have to take down the ideas that we had in the past of what those relationships should look like, could look like, would look like. We have to go beyond those ideas to do the thing that people are going to tell you you're absolutely crazy. You know, you're nuts if you believe this stuff. Well, at some point you have to get to a place where you say, I don't care what you think. You can call me whatever you like. You can see it however you like, but I'm going to let you have your opinion and I'm going to create my own brand new opinion. As the cards Why? Because this is how we move forward. Again, a balancing card where here, balancing those two halves, these two sides, in this perfect harmony that moves you forward with the power of just your own sheer will. And that brings all the tools that you need. He's got everything he needs here to make anything at all happen, any possibility. And the higher the possibilities that you set, the larger your goals, the things that you dream big, big, bigger, bigger than you ever thought, bigger than you ever thought could be possible. Those things become possibilities when you release yourself, you release yourself from all of the foundations of what you thought were truths in the past, right? You walked away from all of those things. You looked in all of these cups. You tried all of these things. And you're ready to do this on your own. And you can. And you absolutely will. He's all alone right here. And he's making it happen. He's making everything happen. And that is a beautiful thing. For this beautiful, beautiful message, please, Spirit, in closing words on this absolutely stunning day on the forum, I hope you have enjoyed the view. I hope that it has brought just some peace and nature sounds to you. A little bit of joy in your heart. Just to be able to sit outside if you can't be outside right now. But you can be like this. So Spirit, what else for us, please, then? For us, please. What other messages do you have? In closing on our beautiful day. Anything else to say? What more here, please, Spirit? I'm really picky with the cards. What more? <laughs> They're reminding me, right? We have the lovers and the nine of wands to go back to the other part of that topic because I just spent a long time talking about just our connections but also to remind me that these two cards are on the table and there is great potential for healing, for healing these things from our past. 
here's the wounded warrior. And he's over here and he's looking at these two lovers. And he's a little trepidatious, right? <laughs> he's having a little moment of, oh, I don't know. I'm not quite sure about this. But he's also not backing down. He's also willing to do the work. He's also dedicated. So dedicated to your connection. Well, whatever this may be that you're seeking, remember that this quality of connection, this quality of connection, this quality of connection, it comes from you. You first. So you love you. And then the things that you want, <laughs> the things that you want, these harmonious connections that are in line with you, they become all possibility. It's to be different. Can you, can you stop, please?